Oh, big fish coming in. Yeah. Big fish coming in. I got him. Holy bucket. Got him! Got, got him. him! Woo! Oh my gosh. We're on, we're on, we're on. There's a Walter! Yes! Woohoo! On the board on that Red was Lake. Fast. That was fast. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Here. Well, there might be. There's another one. Good down. There's another one coming in. Update another one, another one. They're coming in from everywhere. Shoot. He's still down there. Oh, got him. Doubles. Doubles. Oh, get out of the transducer. Get out of the deucer. Get out of the deucer. Get out of the deucer. You got this. Birthday girl's hooked up. Why? Yes. Great job, pal. Yeah. Doubles right when we That's got here. That's a good sign. That's a great, they both hammered it. That's a great sign. Way to go. What happened there? This fish just came in right after Nicole landed hers and smashed my rattle master twice, actually. I missed it the first time and it came back a second time and it smashed it. That's an Gorgeous awesome fish. Gorgeous red lake fish. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Fish. All right. All right, you guys, we got back to back walleyes here. I was just using the Lindy Rattle and Flyer Spoon. It's my favorite lure up here just because it's got that sporadic return. And yeah, we saw them came in on live scope and they were both aggressive. So great sign for today. And then, yeah, be careful. Yes. Welcome to this episode of Nicole Stone Outdoors. And today, you guys, I am fishing on Red Lake in North Central Minnesota. You guys know the very first YouTube video I ever made was on Red Lake, and I obviously come up here every year. Now, I've been up here three times this year already, um, just working on some other productions, and the first time we came out, we didn't exactly hit a home run. Uh, but today has been fantastic. Me and Nicole King, uh, also a DSG girl and has a great social media Instagram following, so check her out, uh, have been slaying the walleye and we've even gotten some nicer fish, so it's been pretty awesome. And I'm super excited that we are here and can share this adventure with you. So we went out of Beacons, um, we set up the Otter Hub, and then what we're going to be doing then tonight, right before dark fall, is move to one of their permit shacks and fish and sleep because we just won't have enough of it after a full day. So hopefully being able to move in a little shallower at dark, not that it matters much on red, but we're gonna be moving closer to shore come evening, which is what you'd probably want to do anyway. So it's great. All as far as we can be towards the second crack right now. And I'll introduce you guys to Nicole King. Hello everybody, I'm Nicole. Um, decided to come up here for my 30th birthday, which is today. Happy and, birthday! And catch some walleye, and that's exactly what we've been doing. And a pike. I don't know if I'd call it a bonus pike, but we got a pike as well. All right. Slimy little pike out here on Red Lake. They get a lot bigger out here, but it was fun. It was a fun fight. Almost stole one of our rods. That could have been an expensive fish. Yes, so fun. All right. This is absolutely not sponsored, but shout out to Beacons Harbor just because I come out of here a lot. I go out of Hillman's. There's JR's Hillman's, um, Rogers Westwind's, uh, Mort's. I really do like Beacons, especially earlier in the season up here on that very northeast corner. They have good shuttle services. Uh, you guys saw some of the stuff with me and Jenny and Natalie earlier. Um, a little bit earlier this month and then they also have you know they're just there to help you out if you need something so that's always been my go-to place doesn't mean I don't bounce around a little and happy to be able to stay in one of their permits overnight oh god oh god fish coming in he's chasing he's gonna eat he's gotta eat he's small that's really small unless I'm only getting some of the return got him got him he's a small eater I think oh what's that oh Oh, oh, oh my, oh my gosh. Wow, we're- Good save. Woo! Yes. I've never fished him before. Oh, got one. Yes! That oh, look at it go out up. Of nowhere. Yay! Heck yes. Yes. Another one, woo! Another one on the Rattle Master. Nice job. I chowed it. I didn't even get a chance to think about that one. Yes, great job. Awesome fish. Are you keeping it or are you throwing I it back? I think I'm going to let it go back. Yeah, I suppose we don't want to clean it tonight. We're no, sleeping. No, probably not. <laughs> it's 
great day to be alive. Got it? Yes. There we go. Dead stick, dead stick. Wow, this will be four. This will be four. What a great way to start off the trip. The dead stick, just a simple hook and um, split shot. That's it on a fluorocarbon leader. Very, very simple. Threw a shiner on here. He was pretty much dead already, but hammered it on the drop. All right, you guys. So this is my dead stick setup. Nicole has an iFish Pro out there. Nicole King has an iFish Pro out there covering some ground for us. And I have this on a dangler. You guys have seen this on a lot of episodes in the past um, where we just run and set the hook. So how this works. This is a dead stick rod from Tuned Up Custom Rods. I just got a basic like 13 fishing wicked reel. And then I have braid, white braid, eight pound, tied to a barrel swivel and then tied to floral carbon leader. And I have a very simple setup. Now the whole thing for me with the dead stick is that it's um, very complementary to my jigging rod. So I want it very finesse. So no large baits today, just a single hook, um, a split shot tied to a barrel swivel on a floral carbon leader. I'm going to put it a foot off the bottom and I'm going to set it on the dangler and I should be set to go. So yeah, that's it's been working. We've got a couple fish off of this today. So hopefully we get another one. Ooh, oh. It's coming here. Got him. Got him. Yes. Woo! This feels like a little nicer one for sure. He looked nicer and he feels, he hit. Oh my God! Ah! Here's a nice one. Another one coming in. Jig, get down there. Oh my God, he swapped at it. He swiped at it. He swiped at it. Take it, you son of a biscuit. Take it. Take the lure. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. Maybe it's the same fish. No, mm, this is a nicer one I think again, but I can't really tell till they hit it. Here we go. There's there's this one. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Oh, come here. You're a little bit nicer. No, not under the ice. I'm not gonna lose you under the ice. I'm not gonna lose you under the ice. He's a lot nicer one. I might need your hand. Mm-hmm. A lot nicer one. If you you're gonna have to definitely No! That's a couple bigger ones! Oh no! All right, you guys, so we have had an action-packed afternoon already. We got three, four fish right away, and then we've had a couple nice fish um, show up on LiveScope and hammer their line. A lot nicer fish than the ones we caught earlier. Um, and then there was one I couldn't get to hit that had a really good return. So super exciting. I'm just obviously not using that strong of a hook set and getting leverage, um, and they're just getting stuck under the ice. So kind of wish I had a 10 inch hole right now, but hopefully we can pull one of these nicer ones up. So back at it. Can't work. Got him. Got him. Yeah. Yes. Please don't. No, did I? Oh, jeez. This is a nice fish. Is it? Woo! I'm like freaking out. This might be a pike. He's got some wicked head Oh, shape. no. It looks like a really nice spot. Oh my gosh. And help me land it. Grab his body. Just grab him. Grab him. Grab him. Yes! <laughs> Woo! Yeah! What a pig. Awesome. All right, you guys. So this is the nicest fish so far for us lost two nice ones at the hole and finally got one up and she hammered the Lind lindy rattle and flyer spoon you got to see this if i can get her to open up that mouth look at that devoured nicole helped me pull it up and she's like that lure is gone so you guys know how much i love that lure i've used it every time i come up here and you guys can get it 15 percent off by using the code nicole 15 at Learnet, and i'll put that below so i'm gonna put this fish right back in all right you guys so this these are some of my favorite lures out here on Red Lake, but any time of the year. Um, and in my stone tackle box, double-sided transparent floats. I absolutely love the boxes I'm selling, obviously, um, for organization, because I'm not an organized person. Again, double-sided. I've got a walleye talker in there because I'm going to pull that out tonight. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about what I like when I come out here and why. So here is how this goes. I'm a big fan of the Lindy Rattle and Flyer Spoon. You know, while I really don't see certain hues of color, there's no evidence that they can see much, like they can't see blue. They really can see, because they're a low light species, they obviously comes at the cost of color a lot of times. So people think blue or, or pink or whatever. And, and most of those colors, while I don't actually have receptors for, plus when something goes in the water, um, you're essentially scattering the light and losing that color anyways. There is little evidence of chartreuse green and orange being colors that walleye can detect, pl plus anything that shines, obviously they can detect that um, with the rods in their eyes. So with that said, I really like my silvers and my golds. I've got, those are my go-to. 
These are the rattle or flying. Oh, you got fish. Rattling flyer spoons here. I really like the reddish gold um, and silvers. I like that shine. The quiver spoons are going to be next. I have a lot of gold quiver spoons, and now they're coming out with a rattling quiver spoon. On Red Lake, you're going to want something a little bit shinier, a little bit more obnoxious because the water is very dirty. No, no real structure or anything, so they're cruising through, and you need to get their attention. So I like to get them in one eighth and one both a quarter and an eighth ounce for the Lindy Rattle and Flyer Spoons and same with the Quiver Spoons. I do have a little chartreuse here, bigger chartreuse if I really want to get their attention, um, but on a more finesse bite, a lot smaller um, options. I also like to keep some jigs on hand, so I've got the Lindy Live Bait Jigs here. You guys have seen that in a lot of my open water content. Great jig um, with that perfect horizontal presentation. Ooh, this one is, yeah. That perfect horizontal presentation, so just tip it with a minnow and you will be set. You guys can get these at stonetackle.com. Nice, pal. Maybe just that spool open because it's still going through the heart. All right. Ooh. All right, I'm going in. I'm ah. good. Try to not wipe out this time. There we go. Yes! Woo! Finally, got one on the iFish Pro. Nice job. Oh, I bought that thing just for this trip. Nice fish. Let's get a photo, a good photo right now. Guys, we had a great day on the water. We caught a lot of quality fish, had a lot of action, and now we are going to be at the sleeper um, on the ice with beacons. And so we're really excited about that because we can fish all night. We have rattle reels uh, right up our alley. And so we'll bring you along for the ride. So I'm not sure if this is gonna make both videos. I guess if you can keep watching, then it made it in one, or you guys will have to stay tuned for part two. So stay tuned. <laughs>